All right, here's our first actual example if you guys want to see it, okay? Um, what I would recommend if you guys feel comfortable, pause the video now, try to graph that on your own. See how far you get. Or maybe you want to pause it and just fill out the information first. And then pause it, make sure those are right, and then graph. Whatever you want to do. Okay, that's kind of the nice thing about these videos. You can pause, rewind, and go however you want. Okay? So, A value is... Three. Our k value is the number that is being multiplied by theta. Okay? You can look at it and you're probably going to say, oh, it's divided by 4. It is divided by 4, but what is it being multiplied by? 1 4. Okay? Your period is 2 pi divided by your k value, which is 1 4. Again, it's a fraction. Make sure you multiply by the reciprocal, keep change flip, however you want to say it. It's going to be 8 pi. Your increments are going to take that period of 8 pi and you're going to divide it by 4. You get a 2 pi. It's kind of nice. All right, your phase shift. We're definitely moving left because it's a positive. Okay. Then you're going to take that pi and you're going to divide it by the 1 fourth. Again, same thing as down here. Multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, and then your vertical shift is down to, you can write minus two, doesn't matter for me. Okay, now, labeling. Again, super important, make sure you guys do it right. All right, our increments are two pi. So that's what we're gonna count by each time. Each one of these spaces represents two pi. So you're gonna count by two pi's. So two pi plus another two pi is four pi plus another one is 6 pi, plus another one is 8, okay? And let me label our axes, I'm just going to go by ones. Now everything is labeled, so now you're going to graph. Okay, what's the first thing you always do when you want to graph? Phase shift, right? First thing is always phase shift. You have to know where your starting point is. It only makes sense. That's where you start. You shouldn't go anywhere else before that. So normally we start at zero, but we need to move left four pi. So we're going to here. This is our starting point, okay? And then we use our pattern and are multiplying and adding like we always do. If you guys need to use a t-chart, do it. Okay. At negative four pi, which is where we're starting. Okay, we're doing cosine. So we're taking, we're using these values here. Right? You're gonna do the one. Times three is three. Minus two is one. Negative two pi, you're gonna use the zero. Zero times three is zero. Or, uh, yeah, zero times three is zero. Minus 2 is negative 2. Okay, and again, that looks right because our amplitude is 3. And look, we have a distance of 1, 2, 3 in between those two points. You should always have that. The amplitude is always the distance between, the vertical distance between the two points. Okay? <coughs> so, when we come to 0, or the middle, right, you're using negative 1. So negative 3, or 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Minus 2 is negative 5. Okay, and then zero times three minus two is negative two. And then one times three is three minus two is one. Okay, now you kind of run out of numbers here, but you can keep going. Either use the pattern that you've got or keep going. What would the next number in this pattern be? Well, it would be zero, right? You can, if you want to extend these numbers out, go zero, negative one, zero, one, zero. Like you can do that. It's not going to make a big deal. Okay. So our next number is zero times three minus two is negative two. And then we're going to go down to negative five. Okay. Again, now we're not done yet because we didn't extend. We didn't graph all the way to the edge out here, which you have to do. You have to go from two periods, two whole things, OK? 
Okay, so we're gonna use our pattern. Start from here, you went up, ooh, that's terrible. You went up and up and down and down and up and up. So now we need to go down and down. And there you go. Okay. And there is your graph and all your information for that one.